I am empty. They took out King's Bridge! Air Defense Command has ordered an evacuation. You've been ordered to give up Grace Maria. You've got to be nuts! Listen! The plan is to withdraw, meet up with all remaining forces from each area. All stricken team members assemble for takeoff. For the glory of our country. Then regroup for a counterattack. You have to leave now. As far away from here as you can. They're coming from the sky. Go side to all forces. We must implement an emergency reformation. Corona team, thought you could use some cover. What's this? Missiles? Let's do this, Corona One! Here we go! Got everything? Yeah, I'm okay! Here, honey. An offering for the king. <laughs> See you later, Mom! Listen to your teacher, okay? And, uh, give the king my best. Dance with an angel, Mom. Yeah. Maybe we'll tango today instead of waltz. That's our way of saying goodbye. My husband is an Air Force pilot and refers to fighter planes as angels. When he'd go on a mission that kept him away from home, I'd tell him in frustration to go dance with his angels. Matilda grew up hearing this, and now she uses it all the time. There's a nice view of the King's Bridge from our house. That iron giant is the pride of Grace Maria, our capital city. In the old quarter of the city beyond the bridge, you can make out an ancient castle, which is even more famous than the bridge. My daughter Matilda is going there on a field trip today. In the throne room rests the Golden King. He's been smiling for a good 600 years now. The King was a gentle person who was a bit on the small side but he crafted a giant suit of armor that convinced his enemies to surrender without a single fight. Afterwards, they found such warmth in his smile that they bowed down to him in humility. Anyway, that's how the story goes. His smiling face still touches the hearts of our people. The very face my daughter and the others got on a bus to see this morning. That was a brand new day. The song on the radio seems to be a perfect match for the sunny weather. I have no idea what's happening. Awful sound and the shaking. Was that a blast of wind from an explosion?
the castle disappeared behind a pillar of flame. Attention all pilots! Our capital city, Grace Maria, is under attack by unknown aircraft. Damage from the attacks is widespread throughout the city. All planes scramble and intercept all threats immediately. Garuda team, time to take off. Bastards think they can barge into someone's house without even calling first. Unbelievable! 
I say we teach him a few manners before we kick him out. Game's over. The Estovakian threat level has been reduced. You should be able to hold out against them. Coming to one, we've almost got them. Let's do this one plane at a time. Survive. Head west. 
vehicle now. The enemy has you on radar. Behind you! Blake! I took a missile! My bird is alive! A missile alert! Where's the fire from? The captain's always on the ball. Garuda team, you're about to exit the combat zone. Maintain your course west to leave the airspace. Garuda team, you've made it out of the combat zone. Head for the rendezvous point. I promise we'll be back for you. Just a little longer. I promise. Our military has escaped destruction because of your valiant efforts on the battlefield. But our capital, Grace Maria, has been temporarily occupied by Estevakian forces. And our central government has been usurped by them as well. The nation of Estevakia had declared war with our country as it simultaneously launched a surprise attack on Grace Maria. In response, the Republic of Emeria's political council unanimously adopted a resolution of open war against the Federal Republic of Estevakia. Our forces remaining on the Amerian mainland are still fighting in desperation to protect our country. Once our intelligence has been sorted and confirmed, the Republic of Amerias armed forces must immediately regroup and counterattack against the Federal Republic of Estevakia. The beautiful country of Ameria belongs to us, and only us, the Amerian people. Fire and smoke rises from the city before me. The King's Bridge is gone. Oh no. No! Matilda! I vaguely hear a scream of terror that sounds much like my own voice from afar. As though the Golden King's gentle smile is moving, moving farther away from me. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. That night, your father and I made countless wishes together. An asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit and disintegrated into millions of pieces which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night, fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovakia, damaging a great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kessid, an island far to the west. My husband, a fighter pilot, also hasn't come home since. <laughs> 